In this video, I'm going to walk you through a demo of a docx editor that can be embedded into any JavaScript framework, uh, including React, Angular, Vue, Next.js, Next, Svelte, and a number of others, uh, as well as Salesforce, Appian, and a number of other low-code platforms. Okay, uh, in front of me, I have a docx document open. It actually uh, opens the docx uh, in memory from directly from your file storage. And this editor right here doesn't actually have any server-side dependencies like Microsoft Office running in the background or LibreOffice. It's rendering and editing a docx native format directly in a WebAssembly module running in the web browser. So we're able to create new documents. We're able to uh, open up and edit existing docx documents. And after that, we can go ahead and save our changes. When we're editing, again, we're editing the docx uh, format. We're not converting to any um, proprietary formats or HTML. Again, we're editing docx document. And after we're done editing it, we can save it. And it returns us the blob uh, from that WebAssembly module that can be saved anywhere we want and version it accordingly or replace the existing version. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features available to us. So I can go ahead and change the text styles. I can change the text fonts, uh, font size, uh, different options like bolding, italicizing, underlying, changing the colors, alignment justification, uh, line spacing, and I'm able to insert bulleted list and numbered list. Here I have a sales and purchase agreement in front of me. I can go ahead, add a new point here, type it out. And also I'm able to go ahead and just simply create a new document. And for example, let's go ahead and create a title, docx editor. And I can switch it back to the normal text to start. Typing away. All right, this demo is actually available where you can go play around. Simply go ahead and navigate to showcase.uprice.com and then go ahead under docx editor and you can load this up in your demo, in your environment. Uh, I'm gonna have a series of videos to help you get started and embed this docx editor directly into your uh, JavaScript framework app.